Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. £45 million Arsenal player wants to leave immediately. Ed would accept £17.5 million bid. Arsenal have made a decision on the future of Thomas Party. That's according to Tutto Juve, which has reported what Party wants to do right now. So, what is being reported about Arsenal and Thomas Party? Let's take a look. Well, according to Tutto Juve, Juventus are interested in signing Thomas Party from Arsenal in the January transfer window. Juventus want to sign the 30-year-old defensive midfielder on a loan deal and have a strong interest in him. Arsenal sporting director Edu and manager Mikel Arteta are willing to afloat party in the middle of the season. However, the Premier League club want between 18 million euros and 20 million euros in a transfer fees for party. Arsenal signed party from Atletico Madrid in October 2020 for 45 million pounds. According to the report, Juventus want to sign the defensive midfielder only on loan. Toto Juve has added that party wants to leave the Gunners immediately. In my opinion, Arsenal should not rush into selling Thomas Party in the January transfer window. Just because the Ghana international defensive midfielder wants to leave now does not mean that Arsenal should let him go. After all, Party has a contract with the Gunners, who are aiming to win the Premier League title and are also playing in the UEFA Champions League this season. I believe that until and unless Arsenal have a suitable replacement lined up for Party, they should not sanction an exit for him. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta wants to bring former Leeds United midfielder Calvin Phillips from Manchester City in the January transfer window as a replacement for party. Former Wolverhampton Wanderers midfielder Ruben Neves has also been linked, although the Portuguese star's massive wages could pose a problem. Gabi Agbon Lahore now backs in Newcastle to make shock move for £30 million Arsenal player in a January. Gabriel Agbon Lahore has backed Newcastle United to make a shock move for Arsenal goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale in January. Speaking on Talk Sport, the pundit explained why he believes Newcastle will have to replace Nick Pop in the near future. Aaron Ramsdale has endured a difficult start to the season at Arsenal after losing his place in Mikel Arteta's side to David Raya. The 26-year-old hasn't started in the Premier League since the 3-1 win over Manchester United in early September. Ramsdale was a key man at the Emirates Stadium last season and played a huge part in Arsenal's push for the title. It led to suggestions Ramsdale could push for a move next summer, with Raya the preferred choice between the sticks at the moment, and Gabriel Agmollahar has suggested that Newcastle could throw their hat in the ring for the goalkeeper. Speaking on Talk Sport, Agbon Lahore claimed that Newcastle will have to look at replacing Pop in the near future due to his ability with the ball at his feet. He said, Ramsdale has to go in January. Arteta has made it clear. I'm saying Newcastle. Newcastle or Chelsea for me. Pop is a top shot stopper but he can't play with his feet. How long are Newcastle going to continue to play like that? Every Premier League team near the top has got a keeper who can play from the back and Pop can't. That's the reason he is maybe going to miss out on going to the Euros with England. Pop has been exceptional for the Magpies since arriving from Burnley last summer. The 31-year-old was among the best goalkeepers in the league last season alongside Ramsdale. While Agbon Lahore makes a great point that Pop isn't comfortable with the ball at his feet, it would be a surprise to see Newcastle move him on any time soon. Eddie Howe will be prioritizing a new midfielder in the January window after Sandro Tonali's ban. Kai Havertz speaks on Arsenal like a big family. Summer signing Kai Havertz has spoken on Arsenal being like a big family on the training ground and how he viewed the Gunners looking like a family from the outside. Speaking on the official Arsenal website, Havert said when playing against Arsenal, he got the feeling they were like a family, and when he joined it was exactly as he imagined. 
Havertz said the togetherness of the club from the players and the fans was a big factor for him to join the club. The likes of Jorginho, who Havertz played with at Chelsea, and Declan Rice, who he knew through Mason Mount from his Chelsea days, were two names highlighted by the German when speaking on settling in and his integration to the side. Havertz has made 19 appearances already for Arsenal this season in all competitions, scoring one goal, providing one assist and totaling 1,248 minutes of football. Both of his goal contributions come from his 12 appearances in the Premier League, where he has played as a striker and a central midfielder so far this season. Mikel Arteta has used Havertz in both these roles this season so far, and we have recently seen a Germany manager Julian Nagelsmann use Havertz as a left-back, showing his versatility. Premier League coach says it's scary how good 24-year-old Arsenal player could become. Former West Ham United coach Mark Warburton says it's frightening how good Arsenal midfielder Declan Rice could become. Speaking to The Athletic, Warburton has been discussing Declan Rice as a promising start to life in North London. Rice has quickly established himself as a key man under Mikel Arteta after his £105 million move to Arsenal over the summer. The 24-year-old start at West Ham over the past few seasons, but not many expected him to hit the ground running with such ease. Indeed, even Rio Ferdinand has labelled Rice as Arsenal's best player so far this season. The Englishman is playing some of the best football of his career under Arteta, but Mark believes there is plenty more to come. Mark says it's scary how good Rice could become in the future at Arsenal. He said, People talk about Declan as if he is what he is always going to be, but I think there is another 20% to come, which is frightening in terms of what he can achieve. The Arsenal players will always hear his voice. He is a dominant personality, but there is not a bone of arrogance in him. He has a swagger on the pitch that he knows he is a good player. That's it. And you need that. Of course, Mark worked alongside Rice at West Ham last season as his first team coach. The former Hammers man seems convinced that the England star can improve even further. Rice is already playing exceptionally well under Arteta and is widely recognized as one of the best holding midfielders in England. You'd imagine that Rice will only continue to improve as he adjusts to a new style of football at Arsenal and the Gunners have picked up a player who is capable of leading them to a major honours. ESPN pounded suggests £12 million Arsenal player is becoming a problem for his country. Pounded, Craig Burley has now suggested that Arsenal midfielder Jorginho is becoming a problem for Italy following his latest performance. Burley was discussing Italy's null-to-null draw with Ukraine on the ESPN FC podcast and thought Jorginho's level were dropping. The pound did listed some replacement before sharing his belief that the 31-year-old Jorginho is now on his last legs. Burley said, Obviously, Jorginho is kind of on his last legs and there are other people that can come in and play in that position. Of course, Jorginho's qualities have always been centric to his playmaking. The Italian is often criticized for his lack of physicality at Arsenal, but that overlooks the strongest part of his game. Mikel Arteta clearly still thinks that Jorginho has the quality and fitness level to dictate games in the Premier League, and that couldn't be better demonstrated by his willingness to move one of the world's best defensive midfielders, Declan Rice, to the number 8 position. So also, some are now doubting Jorginho for Italy and Arsenal. He does still have the backing of some of the best brains in football. Although there was skepticism at first, Jorginho has transpired to be a smart signing for £12 million from Chelsea. The midfielder has been reliable on the pitch, and seems to be playing an even bigger role of, of it. However, there is still no agreement in place for the Italian to stay at Arsenal beyond the current season. Arsenal do have an option to extend Jorginho's deal for another year. However, 
His agent has now claimed that discussions have reached a stalemate, and whilst Jorginho is still proving reliable for Italy and Arsenal, he is a player that Arteta will surely want to keep around. Thomas Party is often linked with an exit, someone Arsenal are willing to sell last summer, and Mohamed Elneny also appears likely to move on once his contract expires. Jorginho might not be a long-term solution for Arsenal, but he is certainly useful for the here and now. Premier League club do not want to sell their unbelievable player to Arsenal in January. Mikel Arteta's Arsenal could face disappointment in their quest to sign Douglas Luiz. That's according to the London Evening Standard, which has reported Aston Villa's stance on the former Manchester City prospect. So, what has been reported about Arsenal and Aston Villa midfielder Douglas Luiz? Let's take a look. Well, according to the London Evening Standard, Arsenal are interested in signing Douglas Luiz from Premier League rivals Aston Villa in the January transfer window. Arsenal are reportedly in the market for a new midfielder and want to bring Luiz, who was described as unbelievable by ex Villa manager Dean Smith in the Birmingham Mail in June 2020, to the Emirates Stadium in the middle of the season. Thomas Party is struggling with injuries at the moment. There is even speculation that Arsenal could sell the midfielder for £17.5 million in January. Juventus are interested in the Ghana international defensive midfielder, although the Italian giants would prefer to sign Calvin Phillips from Manchester City according to Team Talk. Interestingly, former Leeds United midfielder Phillips is a player Arsenal want to sign to replace Party. The London Evening Standard has noted that Arsenal failed in their bid to sign Lewis from Villa in the summer of 2022. The villains are reportedly determined to keep hold of the midfielder and do not want to sell him to the Gunners in the January market. In my opinion, Arsenal should not even try to sign Douglas Luiz in the January transfer window. I do not think that Villa will sell Luiz in the middle of the season. Yes, a transfer could happen in the summer of 2024, but not in January. £60 million pound player now back to join the Gunners. Ivan Toni is probably leaving Brantford within the next 12 months. The striker has outgrown his current club and he's been very open about the fact he is ready to make the leap to the next level. The England international has been strongly linked to a number of clubs since the summer, but it's Arsenal and Chelsea who have been most strongly linked with a move for the £60 million man. Speaking on Talk Sport, Scott Minto has been discussing Toni's future and he predicted that the striker will ultimately end up signing for Arsenal, but not in the January transfer window. Mento shared his verdict on the striker's future. He said, Brantford fans know that it's not a case of if he goes, it's when he goes. I think he owes the club to stay until the end of the season, but then he is gone. As much as I'd love to see him at Chelsea, I think he will be in Arsenal next season. It's hard to predict where Tony will end up, especially if he is going to move in the summer rather than in January. Indeed, there is plenty of time between now and the summer transfer window, and a lot can happen between now and then. Chelsea could become even more desperate for a striker if they continue to falter in the final third, while Arsenal could go off the idea of spending big money on a new forward if Gabriel Jesus hits form or Edin Kataya continues to score goals on a regular basis, it's almost impossible to predict summer transfers ahead of the summer because there are so many variables at play and with a player like Tony who is currently banned from playing anyway, it's a fool's errand to guess where he will end up. Arsenal will have to pay over £70 million to sign a 23-year-old striker, no swap deal on offer. Mikel Arteta's Arsenal will not be able to sign Dusan Vlahovic in a potential swap deal. That's according to Toto Juve, which has reported the transfer fee that Juventus are looking for Vlahovic in the January transfer window. So what is being reported about Arsenal target and Juventus striker Dusan Vlahovic? Let's take a look. Well, according to Toto Juve, 
Juventus have no intention of selling Dusan Vlahovic in the January transfer window. The Italian giants have not received an offer for Vlahovic and do not want to include him in any swap deal. However, as we all know, every player has their price in football, so Juventus will consider offers for the Serbia international striker, but only if they are over 80 million euros. Interestingly, it was to Tojuvi who reported this week that Arsenal are interested in the 23-year-old striker. The report in the Italian news outlet noted that the Gunners could try to use Thomas Party in a swap deal for the extraordinary striker. Juventus are keen on Party and have already held talks with the Ghana international midfielder over a potential loan move in the January transfer window. Real Madrid have also been linked with Vlahovic. In my opinion, if Arsenal are genuinely determined to sign Dusan Vlahovic from Juventus, then they should make a bet for the striker in the January transfer window. I do not think that there is any need for Arsenal to wait until the summer of 2024. After all, the Gunners are aiming to win the Premier League title this season, Gabriel Jesus is not very prolific, and Edin Kata is not at the elite level yet. Now, Juventus themselves have big ambitions this season. The Bianconeri are aiming to win the Serie A title. So, I do not think that Juventus will make it easy for Arsenal to get a deal done for Vlahovic. But, what's the harm it could do for the Gunners if they made an offer? As we wrap up today's Arsenal news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.